Welcome all. This is my first studio update for the producers involved in uh, the creation of the new record. I am speaking to you now from the Belfry Recording Studio in Lafayette, New York, uh, where I have been holed up for the past three days with uh, engineer producer David Peters. Actually, Dave, let's record those just so we have a. Yes. And also with me has been drummer Ryan Cavan. And uh, we have been putting some pretty uh, incredible stuff together on these tins that we've all been working on. And uh, so fittingly, I am titling this portion of uh, the creation process, Beats in the Belfry. So what's happening now is that Ryan um, is playing on a song that he wasn't originally even supposed to play on, but he's finished up all the songs so quite fast that now we're experimenting. And he's making his kit into like a trash kit. And it sounds pretty cool. Ryan Cavan. Uh, I've known him forever. We went to the same high school together. And uh, he's become a major player in New York City. He's been around the world on various tours, and uh, there's nothing he can't play. Hey, Ryan. Dude, um, I've been thinking about this, and for this song, yeah. it's pretty important. Um, I'd kind of like you to have something. What's that? I'd uh -oh. like you to, for this particular Look, song, it's pretty important to me that um, <laughs> that you, you get the... Uh, wow. The, the KISS drumsticks. Absolutely amazing. Will you hold those up so I can show everybody what we're... These are... This is a, a set oh, of, of KISS incredible. drumsticks. It has Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Whoa. Peter Chris, and Ace Fraley's used makeup by faces. Kiss. I don't know if it was used by KISS, but it definitely is Im imbued with the yeah, essence of KISS. That. No, they, they use this on all the class, these pair of sticks on all the classic albums. So it, it'd be pretty, I think you'll probably channel what we're looking for oh, if you're it, using those. Uh, imminently. You Incredible. think, would that be, could you try that? Yeah. I think we'd really capture what we're... Here we go. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, no right problem. on. He and I have been talking about doing something like this together for years, and it's been awesome to finally see that come to fruition. I had him in mind when I was arranging the demos of a lot of these songs and I was really hoping he would be able to be the one to actually put the drums on them. But uh, to actually see that happen has been pretty rad. What if we did this? Check, check out again. The chorus two, three, four. These are my playback illustrations, so I don't listen too intently, but can just kind of feel the vibe of the track without kind of microscoping every little thing I do. So I, 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 I do noodle ever, and draw. Do you ever find yourself getting distracted by some of these fantastic hieroglyphics you've created? You mean when I'm tracking or like, when I'm like listening? Just trying to <laughs> never distract you As from... As he plays, he draws. <laughs>
you know, inspired to add another arm or a guitar or something, I'll stop the track and then pick up. <laughs> Some of you may already be familiar with the name David Peters. He mixed This Is The Session. Uh, he was a co-producer and the mixer, and uh, he also mastered uh, the Notwithstanding album. And uh, he did about 80% of the work that went into the Happenstance EP. He and I worked together on other people's albums. I've known him for a really long time and uh, really enjoy working with him. And he has moved into this big church that they have turned into this big recording studio. And uh, he's got all his toys and he's all weird and happy about it and it's been uh, it's been awesome we've really been benefiting from all those toys <laughs>